I thought I'd, uh, I haven't got the actual camera in my hand and I thought I'd bring the tripod out today and uh, uh, yeah, have free hands with Lacey and I'll try and spin around. So the sun is actually uh, straight at a, I can't see what you're seeing because of the bright sun in my eyes, but um, you'll be able to see Lacey. And um, you know, it's, it's getting uh, the cooler part of the day, but it's still not uh, freezing. Well, freezing, it's still not cold to the degree that I don't think I can bring Lacey out. The sun is, it's still got quite a bit of uh, bite in it, so I know that she's going to be uh, lovely and warm while she is out here. And, uh, you know, I wanted to get her out because I want her, which I've been doing anyway, guys, don't get me wrong, but, you know, I don't want her to associate that every time I'm getting her out, I'm heading off to the vet and she's having a needle stuck in her. So, my point is, it is important to remember that, that if you've had a snake that is sick, um, and yes, they do need their rest uh, as well, but remember the in between the vet and everything that's going on to get them out and just give them you um, and not that you've got them out put them in a tub and you you're running off to the vet for them to have such as in Lacey's case a needle uh, jabbed into her so this is this to me is one of the important things amongst of course making her have those needles uh, you know that uh, she gets to know that uh, she's loved and it's not about coming out and there's going to be pain or a strange place or a strange person touching her so why Lacey's out. So she's, you know, she had the x-rays done and, you know, they, they didn't really see anything majorly abnormal. And I don't believe I've done a video since. Um, I may have said that all appears good, but all that they've actually found is a very small white uh, patch there which in asking what does that mean um, it's something I'm just making sure she doesn't hit my hot cup of tea what does that actually mean and it all it actually means is uh, that we've got to keep an eye on it I've also got to keep an eye on her eye to see if that is swelling more uh, or getting any worse or that lump on her head is which the lump on her head to me you know appears about the same and I like to sort of feel it her eye is most definitely not swelling anymore um, which is great um, that is the best part of all of this is that's not getting any bigger and and that concern me so whatever that is it isn't getting bigger so Lacey has been having an antibody injection every third day and this is for an infection that she has in her stomach uh, <laughs> You know, asking the vet how did she get an infection in her stomach? You know, there's lots of bugs and bits around that, of course, we can't see. But that troubled me. So her enclosure has been annihilated and disinfected and cleaned and all the rest of it. So. I have done everything, not that the vet specifically said, 
it's something in her enclosure, uh, but it's just what I've, I've decided to do myself to make sure it isn't a bug in there. But, you know, she's, uh, can't see her, but uh, she's around, around there. I will find her and bring her back around um, for you to see her. But, you know, she's been okay. I've been getting her out, some, not to bring her outside every day, but she's had time out in my room with me where she, she has to crawl around, get some exercise and finds a nice spot up on top of the enclosure and lays there for a while and then does a little bit more exploring and then takes a rest and, and just continues on. But um, she's certainly not appearing unwell anymore. She has, I think, from memory, about four more um, injections to go and then we'll see and hopefully that infection has gone. Right now Lacey still needs to get rid of some poop um, that is sitting in there but the majority of it has gone but there is still little bits in there which she should have no issue in actually passing herself. So. So that's good. So coming outside, getting her in the sun um, is good for her to stimulate that, which is what my snakes associate, as well as getting out and getting some sunshine, but that stimulation to, to go to the toilet as well. They connect those dots outside and go to the toilet. So. You know, I, I really just wanted to bring you an update on Lacey, and thus far, she's uh, climbing on the tripod at the moment, as she does, or will, not as Lacey does. But you know, she has been climbing. She has been moving. She's. Uh, of course, I'm not going to feed her. Oh, but boy, that would be the worst thing that I could do right now for Lacey is feed her. And, you know, in truth, I don't think she would feed um, anyway at this particular stage. Like I said, not until that uh, poop um, has actually gone. So I am going to let her... Uh, crawl away from me. So just in case that butt end would like to um, do anything, um, I don't want to do it on my blanket, which is easily washed, but still, if I can avoid it, I will. So I may have to grab the tripod to stay with her once she, she sort of does get going. But uh, she's quite uh, comfortable and taking her time, as you can see. So let me grab this for you guys. Not that I can see very much, but I hope you can. Let's uh, zoom in on her. What do you think, Lace? Hey. That sun I can feel is warm on my skin, so you know it's it's warm on Lacey too. Just don't go in the shade, Lace, and you'll you'll stay nice and warm. You know the ground isn't freezing either, so um, she'll be quite comfortable and I'm going to be the shadow for her right now. So I'll try and get out of that for you so you can see her. Yeah, she looks, she looks well enough, but you know, I do know that she's not well. So 
I'm being very vigilant. I check her multiple times a day and I get her out uh, once a day and let her get some exercise, which is important. It's what she's used to doing. It's what she knows happens. And I, I don't want that routine to change because she's unwell. If the vet said to me that she needs to rest, then I wouldn't be doing it. But, um, you know, continue with the routine if you can. Don't change anything because they will know. They will know something is up, something isn't right, what is wrong. And it's been so hard for me to not, when I'm around her, to not show stress um, or that I'm worried or that I'm concerned because she will absolutely pick that up off me and I, I don't want her feeling feeling that um, she's not well enough in herself without her being concerned for my feelings about what is happening as well and some of you may believe that um, that that is how snakes are some of you may think that isn't it at all they don't they can't sense what you're feeling or what's going on for you but they do they they do and that's all I can say to you is I know that they do so hence why when she's out I remain upbeat I do as I do normally with Lacey I don't change it for her uh, it's it's enough that she's she's not well why add to that so she's you know not moving or grooving she's just checking things out there but that's fine it's um, still good for her can't zoom anymore. I'm zoomed as zoomed will be on my camera. But I'm going to give her a little bit of time today to see if she will endeavour to go to the toilet even if if it's only urate, you know, uh, that's fine as well. But we'll see see how she does oh well I will because I won't leave you guys hanging on the other end of this video um, it you know could be five more minutes or ten more minutes of Lacey um, doing her thing over there so I will finish the video off here and Take care until my next video and I will let you know if Lacey does go to the toilet of course. So, ciao.